Hey, listen, I know another thing I want to mention while I got you here is mm -hmm. that uh, uh, you have uh, my old uh, friend and bass player, Scott Sutherland, in your band. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy to find out that that was going to happen, that you guys were going to be working together. Yeah. He's a great guy. Uh, Scott and I have always, uh, you know, been on very good terms while we were working together and after we weren't working together anymore. Everything was... Uh, has been cool with us. If anybody just was wondering about that sort of thing, I love that guy. He's like a, a member of my family, and uh, and I was really, you know, I knew when he left uh, our group that he was going to wind up in a good place because he's so talented. Yeah. And he's such a great guy to work with, and he's like got such awesome skills. You know, it's mind-boggling, really. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I knew that he was going to go on and do some something really cool. And, and uh, when I found out he was with you guys, I went, that was right. <laughs> yeah. When I first saw Scott, he was with you on that cruise in 2010. Yeah. And I remember thinking, I'm like, God, if I could get a bass player like that, I would be. Yeah. And I never in a million years thought, you know, I'd, I'd be able to sing. And I've, it's, it's been a beautiful year. We've gotten to play together. And you know, he's, he's been kind of split time with me and Mike Zito. Right. And now that Zito's back with his band and kind of like next year's going to be where they gear up, you know, he's going he's gonna to invest in that full time. But it's just been a really incredible year to get to play because I've always wanted to. Ever since I saw him with you, and I never, I was like, oh, I don't remember, I'm going to get a bass player like that. And he lives so close and it was great. Um, he's a great guy, great spirit, and a phenomenal player. And I'm just lucky to have such a great group of people. And you, man, your band is. Yeah, we're having a good time. I like time your quartet, dude. I love it. I'm loving it. I love the new record, the way you guys play. It's it's really fun. Well, I have to play more guitar now. You know that that was kind of part of it was part of my evil plan was yeah. as I really felt like I needed to play some more guitar, um, and uh, and this would push me into that. You know, mm -hmm. so the new group is working out great. And the, the new album, uh, you know, was what. What had to happen for it to all make sense? Because we were running around with this new lineup, you know, uh, my old bass player who started the band with me, Randy McDonald, my partner in crime. I mean, him and I have been like brothers, you know, for years. And uh, speaking of a member of the family, you know, he's my god, he's the godfather to my daughter, and, you know, that wow. kind of stuff. We've been very, very tight for many years. And uh, so he was coming back in the fall. We decided we were going to do something different and new. And uh, we started the Painkillers and uh, that whole concept, you know. And uh, but before the new record came out, all we had to play was our old songs, because you you started in this business a little later, so you mm -hmm. probably don't remember. But in the old days, we used to go out and play our new material night after night after night, getting ready before we recorded it. We'd mm -hmm. have all those new songs just yeah. already be you know pretty well broke in, and then. Uh, we would play them for a while until the record came out, and, and it was perfectly fine. But they didn't have people in the audience. No offense, Joan, with with video cameras. <laughs> and at least Joan has like really nice camera, and, and does and she cares Do about she cares to put good quality yeah. videos up on YouTube. Excellent. Not everybody cares. They take their phone out and they record you, and, well, and, no. you know, and yeah, and you just get all of this. Uh, bad representation of some of your new material. So you just kind of got to wait until the record comes out before you start playing that stuff. Okay. So you, this long story short, it, it took a while for the album to come out. We could start playing the new songs, which was really what we were, that was what we had in mind. And uh, and now it's been it's been fun. We did, did a lot of gigs last year. And, uh, and we've got a cruise coming up pretty soon. New Year's and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, anyway, we just thought we would give you a little insight to what's going on out here on the Six Strings Down Tour. Samantha Fish, Tommy Castro, signing off.